six. <laughs> just the three of us are no what? Come on! Yeah. You no, know, just the three of us. Alright, so Millhouse, you just saw him on stage playing with Whiskey Tooth, playing banjo. He's gonna stand in for our drummer today. And uh, well, we got to play for about an hour together earlier, so uh, but he's good, so it was a good hour. It was, a, yeah, it was a great hour. Here we go. session affected you and your family? Me and my family. You know, growing up I wasn't like a welfare person, but now I'm like gladly collecting food stamps just because that's that's where I am right now. I'm going to school. Dale's working. I got laid off of my job, so I'm going to school as my job, and I'm actually collecting food stamps and it's helping a whole lot. I know once I graduate and I'm a nurse, I can like put my money back into that to help other people, but yeah, right now I'm not embarrassed at all. <laughs> food stamps are helping me. So how, how has the recession affected you? Say that again? How has the recession affected you? Well, before the recession, I had a profitable business, and then when the recession hit, I went from selling like 130 tractors a year to selling 30. So then we lost our car, I almost lost our house. Um, you know, and then had to take a very low paying job and just struggle, you know. So it's affected me greatly.
feel the uh, recession has affected music goers and the music scene? Well, I've been playing music for almost, well, probably, yeah, 20 years. And I can think back when I was younger, you'd go to a, a show or a venue, and the place would be packed. It was cheaper to get in, people had extra money. Nowadays, nowadays, if you've got 100 people at a show, you're doing good because they don't have the gas money to go around, you know? Or they don't have, or they'll either have the gas money to get there, but they don't have enough money to get in. Or they got enough money to get in, but they don't have enough money to get something to eat or have a drink or whatnot, you know, and relax. Money's just too tight. With everybody not working, you know, it just makes it too hard. Have you, have you, have you noticed an insurgence of uh, music that's more related to American roots and the Depression era? Oh yes, roots music is growing immensely. Whereas you look back four years ago, and a lot of it was still like a lot of metal or punk rock, and in the last three years, i.e. the depression when they started hitting, they call it a recession, but the recession only lasts seven months as far as I know. And when that hit, it wasn't but a, you know another year and roots music just started growing huge. I mean, I went from playing straight like rockabilly and psychabilly, and we're playing more of a roots kind of country base than anything else, you know? Oh, okay, sorry. Sing along, everybody.